Well, good morning and welcome to another episode of Hooked, Line and Sinker. Welcome to another episode of my day ticket diary. Today you join me at Angel Lake, which is a brand new day ticket that is located just outside of Bridge North in Shropshire. Now this is booked as a lake exclusive and uh, to get to fish here you've just got to have a little bit of knowledge in carp fishing. So it's an invite only, if you know the owner, I know myself, or you're on one of my groups, you know, a friend of a friend who can vouch for your cot fishing, then you can come and fish this absolutely superb venue. Now at the moment, uh, there isn't a uh, Facebook page, but by the time this goes live, then if you look in the description below, then you'll find the Facebook page, which will have gone live by then. Uh, that'll give you information of pricing, rules and you can also see some of the stock that resides in this lake now there is abs absolutely some splendid fish that's in this lake it's never been stocked the fish have spawned through and there's approximately 50 plus fish of old english carp so i can't wait to get a rod out and i'm looking forward to uh, doing a session down here so i'm being joined by the owner today for uh, 36 hours by the time i set up it's more like going to be 30 hours so uh, time is precious because i really want to try and winkle a few of these uh, old english carp out so i'll pick the camera up a little bit later and once i'm settled into the session once i've uh, got the rods out then i will obviously update the video blog so until then let's get fishing just had a walk around the lake just to see uh, if I can spot any signs of fish. Nothing as of yet. And uh, as I'm walking around, I might as well show you some of the captures from Sean and a few of his friends from the time that he's had the lake. As you can see, there's a couple of big sturgeon in here. You've got a double there and that dinosaur, which comes in at 31 plus. Some absolute stunning commons and mirrors. And this is just a fraction of the stock. This is just what's been caught in the past three months when Sean's on the lake from him and his friends and family. There's a few more round here. And as I said, the lake hasn't been stocked. Everything that's uh, in here has either spawned in here or been in here a long, long time. Uh, the lake is probably about an acre and a half. It's going to accommodate four anglers, two rods each. And obviously it's going to be uh, bookable on an exclusive basis. So I'm going to uh, chill out, I'm hoping that we're going to get a few fish in this session, fingers crossed. At the moment it is relatively quiet, but uh, hopefully something will come to our rods eventually. Absolute lovely and peaceful, there is nothing around that makes any noise. We are literally in the middle of a farm right, catch you well you join me back at half past 11 i've finally got my rods out and i'm fishing after a bit of messing about trying to find some likely areas i've settled for three areas out in the swim i've got two rods uh, fishing directly out in front of me there is a weed bed out there which is probably about three meters by three and I've uh, put my rods either side of that uh, wee bed. Uh, talking to Sean, he said that a lot of the fish do congregate around that area, so that's where I'm going to be targeting. Uh, the right hand rod has gone down to my right hand side, probably about half a rod length off the bank, and that's where they're going to be uh, positioned for the remainder of the uh, trip. I'm just going to start slowly building the the swim up as i've said before i'm going to let these fish tell me uh, what they're going to be doing and what they want to be doing uh, so i'm looking out for any showers any movements on the water 
and uh, I will change my tactics accordingly. Uh, I am fishing with boilies on the strip. Um, I have gone with 12 millers, which are nice and small, will cover an area when baiting up and give you a little bit more of a better spread, keeps them fish occupied until they pick up your hook bait. Um, so we've got Sean who's fishing on the left hand side, he's down to the left hand side of the lake which is a little bit more of the shallow end and this end that I'm fishing out in front of me is deep, um, probably about nine foot out just in front of um, the swim in front of me and it just shelves off and goes up a little bit more when you get towards that wee bed in front of me. Uh, it is a little bit more deeper down to the right hand side as well and um, that's them spots I'm going to be uh, fishing. So we're waiting on the carp. It's over to the carp to uh, make the difference and hopefully it won't be too long. Good afternoon, you join me at half past four. Just having a mid afternoon brew uh, just before I start to get these rods ready for the uh, evening ahead. Uh, been a really quiet day today, I've not seen too many fish show, and the weather has been really temperamental. We've gone from cold um, winds this morning to absolute blazing sunshine this afternoon. So uh, it's not surprising that it's been a little bit quiet on the fish front. Um, still got another 24 hours left to go. So there's plenty of time to pick up a fish. I've moved my middle rod which was directly out in front of me and I've gone to the right hand side of the swim. I uh, had a little bit of a cast around. It is a lot deeper down that right hand side and I found a nice clear area, probably about as big as a um, big as a bin lid and it just went down nice and solid donk. So I've uh, opted to uh, put a few single sticks over to that way and uh, put a rod down there for the uh, night ahead. As I said, we've still got plenty of time yet to pick up a fish and um, I am always hopeful that we will do. Uh, so I will pick up the camera and just log off uh, this evening before the before we lose the light and uh, hopefully I'm hoping we'll have something before then. So until then drink time and uh, start to get these rods ready for this evening. Turn off for now. Well, well, we're just starting to lose the light now. I'd like just to ask Sean what's happened today. <laughs> Unfortunately, not a lot yet. Yeah. Is there some fish in here? There's plenty of fish in here, mark my words. Uh, it's just the anglers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we'll get it out of the bag, um, but uh, we will wait and see. I'm hoping as soon as this uh, sun just drops behind the trees that it's going to go all crazy and we're going to have a busy night. There will be fish. 
in this video. We're, Definitely. There will be fish in this video. Yeah. Well, I, I'm hopeful. Are you hopeful? I'm, I'm very optimistic. Yeah, so um, I will log off until we get a fish or first thing in the morning. We're going to sit here for most of the night until it gets too cold and we've got to uh, get into our bags. Uh, but for now, I will catch you a little bit later on. And uh, as promised by Sean, we're going to have some fish. See fish, bash, bosh. Fish, bash, bosh, keep it tosh. <laughs> Set up. I don't think we can. Oh, we're back. We're back. <coughs> Copy. And copy it. Oh, there it is. Let's go film. This one. Let's go film. Brilliant. What's this one? Another picture first was Wayne. Go on, go on, Wayne. I'll, uh, I'll sit there. Sean's just going to weigh the fish because uh, obviously he's just checking the weights of all the stocks at the moment. So we're going to weigh. Scars have been zero, Jeff. Yep. Right, first fish out the way, thank goodness, it's made us wait all day for it and it's come with this absolute stunning little mirror at uh, 13 pounds. Common. Well, Stun so. stunning little common. <laughs> <laughs> right, well the first fish out the way, uh, it's made us wait all day for it, uh, but a lovely common of 13 pounds 12 and uh, absolutely pristine. That mouth don't even look like it's been caught before. It's still got its curtain. So uh, happy days. Hope it's the first of quite a few to come. Right, so let's get her back, get this rod out, and hopefully this is uh, the sign of good things to come. Happy days. <coughs> Oh, Sean's just had a rip roar at, at quarter to twelve. Midnight muncher. Oh, yeah. Right. Just focus it. Right, there we go. How about that, there, mate? It's a nice much. fish. Beautiful. Mm. Absolute beautiful. Mint condition again, yeah? Yeah, lovely fish, mate. Dead yep. to every court very often, yeah? Beautiful mouth. Hold him up, I'll take a couple of graphs. Have a smile. <laughs> <laughs> that is beautiful. Lovely. Can I drop down a picture of the other side as well, mate? Yeah, let's turn him around. I'll turn her around. Beautiful. That's got potential. Happy? You pick her up a little bit. There we go. Well, that's a shot stone. Yeah, we let it go. Thank you. <laughs> go on, me, baby. Bosha. Oh yeah. Skills. Top and on my ding dang do. You can need my uh, torch on it here. Yeah? No, no. No. Yeah. Mm, then again, it's uh, it might, it might, it might be mean terrain. Fucking that is oh Christ. Right. Second fish of the night. Another absolute stunner, and uh, just coming to the same rod that I had that other common earlier. And that rod at the moment is doing the business. So, uh, 
stacking up the numbers now we'll gain a few fish out and uh, hopefully we can get into uh, some of the biggest stamp in here but yeah made up with that absolute fantastic Hey. Onwards and upwards. Well, you join me on a beautiful Sunday morning down here. It's going to be an absolute beautiful day today. Uh, you've probably seen from the footage last night that we uh, managed to bag a few uh, fish from out of here. I had two commons and uh, Sean had a nice mirror. Um, fish was pretty active last night. They all come as soon as the light started to go down and I got my first take around about 8 o'clock and then the other one was probably about 12 o'clock in the night. Uh, we've got a day today to try and hit into some of the bigger stock. All them fish last night was doubles but uh, we're hoping one of these 20s that uh, live in this lake will turn up. So um, I'm going to fish through the day, try and keep quiet. It's, like I say it is a uh, intimate venue. So the quieter you can be down here, the better you, uh, you're going to uh, get these fish moving around and uh, hopefully you can get into a few. So I will we'll, uh, turn this camera around and I'll show you a couple of the uh, videos from the lake this morning and I will pick the camera up a little bit later. So for now, ta -da. rod which is just fishing just off the wee bed and by the time I picked up into her took a little bit of line and managed to get a head into the wee bed uh, so I've uh, put the rod back on the pod and just slackened off and hopefully she'll uh, swim out herself without me having to bully her out of the um, wee bed itself so um, I'll give it off an hour now look and I'm going to have to put a little bit more pressure on than normal to see whether I can lift her out of that weed and uh, release her. Fantastic. Oh, it's a sturgeon. <laughs> Are you going to net him? Yeah, maybe less than me, right? <coughs> no, just grabbing the lines, you see. He'll come just here. Well done, pal. He's going to set his other rod out, eh? to do that as well. Drop back on the sturgeon. Smash him. 
smash it up that bottom. <laughs> imagine, what his, imagine what his mum does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it giving it a churn up, eh? I'm trying to film and... Do you want me to? No. It's going even backwards, isn't it? Yeah. In the neck. Uh, yes! Yeah! yeah. Ding dang do. <laughs> well done, mate. Oh, yes. The sturgeons don't count. <laughs> oh, I need some more water in here, mate. Give me two seconds. <coughs> sturgeons don't count, he says. Oh. Straight in your mouth, boy. I'm going to leave this to the viewers. Put in the comments below, do sturgeons count? <laughs> I say no. Sean says yes. Right, you say it was 12 last time? Yeah. But he's a regular uh, occurrence, this one. Yeah. When did it last come out? A couple of weeks ago? Uh, about three, four weeks ago. Okay. So he should have put some on. <laughs> Calm it down, there, mate. 16 and 9. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to buy that, mate, so I'll just keep it on for a short sec. Yeah, I've got it. 13 and 16. Okay. That's a bonus, a pound and a half. Yep, that'll do. Let's move your... Let's move this rod, because it's going to be in the fat channels. Yeah. Oh, mate. Mate, you know when you get the dad? I'll get you with that. It's had me in the face. <laughs> this is literally a blank saver, isn't it? Uh, I've had one car, thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's better than nothing. Yeah. Lovely. 14 pound and growing. Yeah. Beautiful. Like oh, dinosaurs, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Real life dinosaurs. Should we get it back, man? Yeah. Uh, hold it up again. Just look, I'll just a couple of, around, mate. Okay. Do a couple of photos in a minute. Can we see some of photos? Yep. All right. We'll get yeah. it back. Watch this song, hang. Sorry. Yeah, it's sulking like you have been most of the uh, <laughs> session. <laughs> yeah. Nice result, you're happy now, ain't you? Very happy. Hey, you've well, been absolute moaning all the way through the session, saying, I want some fish, I want some of the big fish. So uh, it's nice for that to turn up, so I ain't got to listen to him moaning anymore. I can't listen about your angling skills, John. <laughs> Hold on, I've had two carp, you've had one carp. And the sturgeon that now counts. Right, so uh, we've got the last couple of hours now. So I'll uh, pick up the camera if and when we get another chunk. I'm going to have uh, I'm going to have another twenty pound carp, <laughs> and um, I'll catch you a little bit later. Well, it's time to turn the video blog to an end. I hope you've enjoyed it. We've had a great time down here at Angel's Lake. Four fish bagged, including one sturgeon that I don't think counts. But it does, 2-2. Two, 2-2, two. Two, two. I'll uh, take that. Uh, but yeah, great time. We're going to uh, come back here again in under a month and uh, have another go at trying to catch another one of these old English scalies and uh, try and get something into a little bit bigger. But I'm 
to be honest, I'm quite happy with what we've caught. And uh, I'd like to see some bigger fish, fish grace the bank, but happy days. We've got what we've got. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's fishing, not catching. Yeah, yeah. But it was mint, wasn't it? That was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful fish. So uh, we're going to uh, wrap up now. We're going to get these rods in and get off home. So for now, fish, bash, bosh, keep it tosh. Ding, dang, do. <laughs> That'll Thank do. You. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye. <clears throat>